hey guys how are you guys doing welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking on that thumbnail to watch this video i'm humbled by your guys's continued support if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel and you just found it make sure you hit that subscribe button while you're there hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to do the notification button so that that way you get notified of every new video today we are going to talk about Lia Linux, L I Y A Linux. Lia Linux is an Arch based Linux that is one that I've never, ever, ever heard of. And it's, I don't know, it's, I'm a little confused. Let's go ahead and take a look at the actual uh, wiki page for it. So when you go there, it says, why not Laya? Let me see if I can make this bigger here. It says, why not Laya? Uh, you require support for an architecture other than x86-64. You take a strong stance on using a distribution which provides only FOSS software. You do not want a rolling release. You are happy with your current OS. You hate System D, and you want a... You want a bloated distribution, not a minimal one, meaning that it has lots of software installed in it. Now, if we go back and you go to the package list, as you can see, it is not bloated. It comes with the Cinnamon desktop and the GNOME desktop right here. Cinnamon's right up here. Cinnamon right here. Right here is Cinnamon, see? So I don't know, it's obviously not bloated, but that whole, if you hate system D thing, that one kind of got me a little, a little, because I was looking for like, is it run it system? Is it open RC? What, what is it that it's using for its, you know, for its in it system? And lo and behold, system D, 253. Three 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 dash three. So I mean I don't know what other and there is no run it in here. There is no open RC. There is none none no other you know any of the other ones in here either. So you know I I don't know what they're referring to. But at any instance, that's what it's saying as far as that and as far as like a non rolling release. Um. It's arch based. Now, if it's LTS, yeah, it's a little slower, but it's still more current. So I'm not sure what they mean by this. You don't want a rolling release distribution. So, but either way, uh, that is, you know, what they're claiming. And if you read the rest of the stuff, it's a little confusing um, as to what's going on with them. So, uh, you know, like it's got like Linux, you know, package management. <coughs> <clears throat> it says Linux package managers such as App, DNF, Pac-Man, Pika-Man, etc. Windows is Winget. So I guess it's trying to tell you the difference between Windows and Linux as to the differences. I, I'm not sure why, but I, I believe that's what it's... It's just trying to, I guess, have some filler. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, it states that it has Alacrity as a terminal, which it does. And... Um, a couple of other things in here, which are like learning Linux commands. I want you to go to this video right here uh, to learn some Linux commands. If you're going to report a bug, use their GitLab to report bugs. But if you want support, go to their Discord uh, to the to do that. And um, it's recommended that you do not skip this section. It will help you to learn a lot about your Linux journey, in other words, how to do updates and stuff like that. And it wants you to do the sudo pacman dot you know dash syu you know, for updates. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, log into it. Okay, so we're logged into it right now. So now it wants me to basically run uh, Alacrity. Um, so we're going to do... Okay, well, now that that painful thing was over, I mean, it was 
that was a good 10 minutes and it's because it updated gnome desktop and it updated uh the uh cinnamon desktop as well that was that was that would that took a while i guess that's a problem with when you're doing two different dis desktop environments it takes that long so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and reboot to make sure that everything that needs to be applied is applied and then we'll reboot reboot back in and then We'll go over how to make Pac-Man a little faster as a little added bonus, and then we'll do our review. All right? Be right back. All right, so here we are. We're back in it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Na uh, the uh, Nautilus, the file manager, which I didn't need to open two times. So we're going to go there, right? Then we're going to go to the file system, right? We're going to go to Etsy, okay? And then you're going to go right here to the Pac-Man comp. So you want to LMN Pac-Man comp. Where are you? Right here. And we're going to open it with our text editor. Now, you're not going to be able to make changes here because I didn't do this. I'm I'm just showing you here. But you would want to open that either with Nano, Vim, uh, Kate, something that allows you to have root access. Uh, otherwise, use sudo and then go to the you know browse the, the to the path there, which would be Etsy, uh, Pacman.conf, uh, and then you want to go all the way down here to where you will see. Uh, for parallel downloads. Uh, here it is right here, up here at the top. This parallel downloads. Uh, you can see it's here at 6. You want to go ahead and you can switch that to like 10 or even 15. I've done 15 before. Heck, I've even done 20. And, and it'll, it literally dramatically speeds up Pac-Man. So then what you would do is you want to save it, which it'll tell me I can't do it probably. Yeah, see, say won't do it because I'm not in a, um, I, I don't have root privileges here. But uh, you're, you know, like Nano, you'd hit Control X or Control Zero, then Control X. And then, you know, Vim would be the write and quit command, you know, and stuff like that. So, so either way, you'd change that to that, and then that'll speed up your, um, your, your Pac-Man. So that that way you are, uh, so let me do this again. Close, close without saving quit and then that's it so why you know you know so so that's a way to speed up pac-man you know comp and that's with any arch based distribution so there's a little extra there so this is what we see whenever we log into uh it this is our desktop this is a cinnamon environment so you have some folders on the net on the on the desktop which i'm not a fan of but hey you know some people like it some people don't but it's there. Then you have this bottle panel at the bottom, which has got your application launcher on one side. And then you've got some pinned uh, icons here. That is your task manager right here. Uh, you're in the, in the center. And then, of course, you got your system tray over here on the right. With that, you've got your time and date. You've got your volume notification. You've also got your internet connectivity. You also have a clipboard manager here as well, and notifications. If you have any, they will pop up right here as well. So there is that. And as you can see, they have Alacrity installed for their terminal with, it's using the ZSH term, uh, uh, shell, and you have this version of NeoFetch in here. And so, so there's that. It uses, as we showed you before, the um, file manager, uh, uh, GNOME files. And then also it uses apparently Brave browser right out of the box. So they've done well with that. I am a fan of Brave. I use Brave. And it is a very, very, very good secure browser uh, with lots of add-ons that you can put onto it to increase more like, you know, VPNs and that kind of stuff. And we're using the 1.51.114 Chromium, which is, is semi-current. Not super current, but it's current. So there's that. Uh, for applications and your application launchers, you can see you can do all applications. And then they've got accessories, graphics. They've broken it down and categorized it right here. The pins, quick start ones as well. Here's your, tr your power session manager right here. 
and then you get for like uh, applications i guess ones that are pretty uh oh, it's using nemo's not known files sorry nemo the file manager uh, i guess that accessories uh the most important one to really kind of go with, i guess is the nemo one here um screenshot which is their screenshot taker and then they got regular text editor uh for graphics they don't they have pix and document scanner for internet they have brave and deluge which is a torrent downloader um persepolis uh download manager thunderbird uh for office they only ha they have only office in uh sound and video they have mpv which is great i love mpv rhythm box they got a sound recorder and then of course they've got your qt4l2 uh which is your video capture uh, for your webcam uh, type uh, utilities. They got Pulse Audio, which, oh, by the way, this has, it's also uh, Waylon. It's using Waylon and Pipewire. Uh, that was in the package list. So it is using the more modern day sound server and display server. Uh, and then in their administration, you have Alacrity for the add and remove software center. It has, apparently, they relabeled Pamac uh to this uh to be the add or remove software it's using pat mac uh of course the package manager is a standard it's always uh 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 pack uh, pacman in arch linux and of course you have the aur uh you could type in yay or is it yay or peru so we can go here like we'll find out so yay and then we'll do obs see what it says So it's got yay installed for your AUR helper. And right now it's wanting to install. And it couldn't because I uh, couldn't find all the required packages, which is weird. But either way, uh, it uses yay for your package, man for your uh, um, uh, AUR helper. Um, uh, it's got HTOP. So if we look at it, we'll see, well, why didn't you launch? Maybe we've got to open up Alacrity and then type HTOP. There we go. Let's go ahead and make this window bigger. We'll make the font bigger. And it's using a good bit of my processors right now. And it's using uh, a, little, a little over half a gig of RAM. But now it's slowed down on the processor. So it could have been because of the, you know, uh, opening up uh, HTOP and moving it. The minute I do that, boy, Waylon... Really uses some, damn, Waylon is very processor heavy. Because that's my compositor that's doing that. Just using my compositor is doing that. Interesting. So, anyhow, uh, it's pretty light on resources when it's at idle. Well, Waylon really uses some, some, some cores, man. Uh, it's got HTOP. It's got, you know, the light DM greeter, uh, system monitor, which is... The GNOME system monitor? Yep, this is the system monitor as well. Wow. So they've got that. Um, time shift and snapper installed. I did notice that when I was doing the um when I was doing the, the update, the system update, that it actually uh did a snapshot with time shift and snapper with before it did the update. So that's pretty awesome that that's there. Um, and of course, user group for preferences. Of course, they've got extensions for GNOME extensions installed. They've got your desk, your desklets, which are, I believe, KDE, maybe GNOME. But anyway, they got firewall, so they got UFW installed, uh, which instead of firewalled, they have UFW, which is unified firewall. They have that installed. They've got the um, font selection. They've got, of course, hot corners. Uh, they've got they, they got a, a smattering of stuff because what they've done is is they've taken and they've got both of those desktops on there and they got rid of XFCE, XFCE support. So their flagship is a Cinnamon desktop and then, of course, their second one is the GNOME desktop. Uh, for themes, we can click on there to see what that says, what that does. Uh, oh, wow. So... It's basically, I guess, the, the Machata Dark is the theme that they have here. 
on here you can click on it you could select different ones uh purell where's that close that and then now yeah it's different it's a little bit different it's got a green border instead of the blue dog border but anyhow so there's that for preferences that's all part of the the extensions they got windows and then they got window tiling or can you turn window tiling on and off you can interesting so it's actually got a tiling function which is nice that's a gnome extension that they've installed uh that's working so i mean this is pretty cool so and then of course you got your places here and so that is kind of a quick rundown look at Lia linux i've never heard of it before i thought why not i read the release notes and i was thinking okay this is kind of cool it's a non-systemd but then wait when i looked at the packages i saw that it was got systemd in it so you know i mean it's an interesting like i said it's an interesting type uh, uh distribution uh if you guys have ever heard of it or used it before comment down below tell me what you guys think about it also uh based off of this if it makes you want to install it and you give it a try let me know i did get a comment in my discord server uh from somebody who said uh when i when they they mentioned it in there that's how i found out about it uh i was like wow i never heard of it they did say that when they installed on hardware that they did have to do the system update which we did and we paused through it and all and it took forever but anyhow they did that and after that they had no issues it does come with open source drivers it also comes with the legacy novu drivers as well as the nvidia drivers as well and it wants to do that when you go to install it it asks you if you want to install it and boot into that and so so they're all available so it is a pretty up-to-date system it is arch so as they said in their wiki about the non-rolling release thing mm, the, even arch on an lts version still rolling release so it's you know going to to be you know a rolling release but either way guys try it tell me what you think leave a comment down below also if you guys have any other suggestions uh you can certainly you know leave a comment down below as well also why don't you pop into my discord if you're not there yet it's a big party going on over there we are always got events going on like we've got FOSS memes events we got ricing events we got all kinds of events going on over there we also got great support for different things also we have quite a few developers that are in my discord over there that are you know part of they have their own specific channels so that that way they can you know answer questions over there so you can get added support there as well from the developers makula linux there rizzi os is there zero linux is there and as more and more developers finding out you know they're always encouraged to to join and we give them their own separate thread on my server so either way guys y'all keep doing what you guys do Keep on Linuxing, stay blessed, and have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to thumbs up the video.